Hi guys, welcome to Selvin Kitchen today. Guys, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I hope you, everybody was well, everybody was keeping safe. So in Selvin Kitchen today, we're gonna make Saril juice. I have one pack of dry Saril here. I couldn't get the fresh Saril, but the dry Saril and the fresh Saril, if you get this fresh one, is the same flavor, give it the same kick, the same taste. So I have one pack of dry Saril. I have one peel of lemon skin. I just peel this lemon, so I gotta use one lemon skin. I have some white rum over here, guys. So when I'm gonna sweeten my saril, I'm gonna show you guys. I have a little red label wine leave over because I'll make a cake. So I throw the red label wine in the cake. I have half a cup of brown sugar. I have some ginger. So I'm just gonna use one piece of ginger. I'm gonna crush this ginger, put it in it to boil. I have some pimento seed. I'm gonna use one stick of cinnamon stick. And some cloves. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of cloves in it because cloves is very strong. So in Selvin Kitchen today, guys, we're gonna make sorrel juice. So guys, please take a time out and please hit that subscribe button. And please share and like the video. So in Selvin Kitchen, sorrel juice. So guys, the first thing I do, I just put in the skin of the peel lemon. I'm just going to cut the ginger, I'm just going to use the knife, use the palm of the hand to crush the ginger. So I'm just going to do that with the ginger, put a little elbow grease on it. Let's crush the ginger. So, I'm just going to put in one piece of ginger, I'm going to use another piece of ginger. So I like my sorrel to be a little bit strong. So that's it, that's two pieces of ginger, cinnamon stick, I'm going to put it in as yet. And we're going to put in some cloves, clove. Put in a little bit of clove in it. Pimento. Then I'm going to use the pound in pimento, I'm going to use the pimento seed. So I'm just dropping some pimento. So I'm just going to put in my... Put it in it to boil. So as soon as this boil up, I'm just going to turn on the fire. And let the steam, put in the lid and let the steam dry it. So guys, that is um, putting the sorrel in it. So I'm just gonna wait till this to boil up. So I put in the sorrel, the lemon skin, and the cloves and the pimento. So I just wait till this to boil up now. As soon as it start to boil, I'm gonna turn off the fire and let that steam by itself. I'll give it a couple of hours. So in Selvin Kitchen today, we're gonna make sorrel juice. So guys, I just put in seven cup of, a cup of water in this, so I don't want it too strong. So I put in seven cup of water, and look at it, guys. So soon as this one starts to boil, I'm just gonna switch off the fire and let the steam let it draw by itself. So in Selvin Kitchen, several juice. Just put them by the lid. So I put in seven cups of water. We have half cup of brown sugar we're gonna use. And we have some good old Ray Neville, some Jamaican white rum. Hi guys, this is boiling for the last one minute. Look at it people. So why I use the lemon skin? You can use the lemon skin or you can use the orange skin if you want, but I don't have any orange skin today, so I'm using the lemon skin to give it the same zap the same taste so now the cinnamon stick in it be boiling for the last one minute so now we're going to take out the cinnamon skin so i don't want the cinnamon um, stick to overcome the my some my my drink so now i'm just going to take out this one take out the cinnamon stick and give that a stir 
So in Selvin Kitchen today, people, we're making Cyril drink. So I just take out the cinnamon stick. I don't want it to over, over power it. So now I'm just going to turn off the fire. Put the lid on it. And leave it to the jar itself to set itself for around one hour. So guys, I just turn off the fire. And I need this, so I'm just gonna make this steam and everything that's put on the lid on it to make it dry itself. Gonna make it cool long for around one hour. And then I'm gonna put in the white rum, then I'm gonna put in the red label wine and the brown sugar. So in serving kitchen today, people, we're making cereal drink Jamaican style. I'm using the lemon skin, as I was saying. You can use the lime skin if you want, but I don't have no. Um, you can use the lime, I can use the orange, but I use the lemon skin today in serving kitchen for making the several drink. So we're gonna use some white rum, we're gonna use some red leather wine and some brown sugar. So when it cool. So I'm gonna let this cool for around one hour. So people if you're watching serving video and you don't subscribe, please give me a thumbs up for this video and please subscribe and please share and like the video. Um, and you guys have a Merry Christmas. Hi guys, this is been cooling for the last 25 minutes so now I'm just gonna add in the sugar so the last thing I'm gonna put in it is the rum and the red label wine so now I'm gonna add in the sugar before I strain it so I put in half a cup of brown sugar you can use white sugar uh, you can use the brown sugar it's up to you guys which one of the sugar you prefer to use so I use half a cup of brown sugar just gonna give it a stir and then I'm gonna put on the lid on it to let it cool down and then I strain it off. So I give it a run another 4 to 5 minutes to so let it cool down. So in Selvin Kitchen today we're making cereal juice. So the lid, let it cool down, give it another 4 to 5 minutes. So guys, I just add another half a cup of sugar because this is quite strong. So and just add another half a cup of sugar in it. And just give it a stir. So now it's going to strain it off. So I'm going to let it cool down directly before I put in the rum and the red of the wine. So I don't want to put it in when it's hot. So I'll let everything cool down first. So just going to strain it off now. So in serving kitchen today, guys, please subscribe and please share and like the video. And please give me a thumbs up for this video. And you guys, everybody keeps safe. Oh, there is not nice. So I'm just going to strain it off. I was going to use the big strainer now and then after I'm going to use the small strainer to strain it off again. So you see all of that lemon skin and all of that ginger, cinnamon stick, the pimento, everything in it guys. I didn't take out nothing out of it. So I'm just going to strain it off, let it cool down and then add in the rum and the red elbow wine in it. And please check out my rest of the channel guys for the rest of the video. Just view the rest of the video, give me a thumbs up on my videos then and send me a comment. Because Selvin Kitchen, we always have something new. So I'm just going to get this away. Now I'm just going to add in the rest of it. So guys, I, just, I use the big strainer and strain it off. So now I'm just going to use the small strainer. Because I want to get out all of those small bits in it. I don't want nothing in it. So I'm just going to use the small strainer to get everything out. So I'm just going to use the small strainer to get everything out of it. So when you put in the, the rum and the red of the wine in it, it's up to your guys tolerance if you want a lot of alcohol or you don't want too much alcohol in it. As some people drink the sorrel without putting alcohol in it. So you can drink it without putting any alcohol in it. So 
So I just use 12 cups of water before I use I think it was six cups of water and then I had some more water in it because I taste it and it was a little bit strong so I had a little bit more water to it so make sure you taste it before you sweeten it anything like that uh, some people like it strong and some people don't like it strong so but I don't like it too strong I like it to have that little kick in it that like a sourness but so in Selvin kitchen today we're making cereal so guys I just strain it two times so I'm just gonna give it another mix again remember I have been adding one cup of brown sugar in it so now I have a little red red label wine leave over on half a floss so I'm gonna add in all of this red label wine in it it's optional if you don't want to put in no alcohol in it it's up to you guys a lot of people don't drink alcohol but I like to put a little bit of alcohol in it guys to give it that little kick so now I'm just gonna add in some white rum in it don't want it too strong so I'm just gonna measure my rum because remember I said this Jamaican white rum is quite strong so I think I'm gonna add in around half a cup of rum in it so that's gonna give it a mix Remember some people like it with alcohol some people don't like it with no alcohol in it So it's up to you guys if you want to add alcohol in it If you want to give it to your children Make sure you don't put any alcohol in it children can drink it same way the sweeten is a little bit of sugar Put it in the fridge to cool And then you guys can have it So if you don't get the fresh cereal you can get the fruit the dry cereal is still the same flavor the same taste this give it the same kick so that's what we're looking for so I like my sour to strong so I'm just gonna taste it put a little bit in my hand oh, that is strong people so I'm gonna leave it there to cool off for another 10 minutes So guys, this is all finished now. I strain it and I put in some rum in it. I put in some red the wine. But remember guys, put in the rum to your tolerance. If you don't want no alcohol in it at all, no rum, no red the wine, it's optional. You can drink it same way without no rum, no red the wine, no alcohol whatsoever. But some people like it with rum, like with a little bit of red the wine like me, so I put a little red wine in it, I put some rum in it. So it's all finished now. Let's give it another mix. So if you're gonna give it, give it to your kids or anybody who don't drink alcohol, make sure you maybe you put a little separate potion before you put alcohol in it. So this is all finished. So I don't know how it's gonna share with some of it. Oh, guys you want to smell the ginger you want to smell the lemon in it oh, you want to smell that white rum oh. and that people so guys my sorrel juice is all finished guys I'm telling you this is delicious you can smell that white rum you can smell that red label wine, you can smell that ginger, you can smell that lemon, you can smell that clove, you can smell that cinnamon stick, guys. I'm telling you, guys, you need to try it. But as I said before, it's optional. If you don't want to put in no alcohol in it, you can drink it same way with no alcohol. A lot of people don't drink alcohol. So I like a little bit of rum, so I put a little bit of rum in it. So here we go, guys. Guys, I'm telling you, you can taste that ginger, you can taste that white rum, you can taste that red little wine. Oh. Guys, oh. delicious, guys. Mm. I'm telling you, if I drink off all of this, I gotta think I gotta be drunk tonight. 
guys please give me a thumbs up for this video please share and like the video please hit that notification bell selvin kitchen so when i post a video you guys will get it and guys have a prosperous new year and a merry christmas to each and every one and everybody please keep safe out there is not nice a lot of people think that this coronavirus is a joke but it's not a joke so please keep safe everybody selvin kitchen i was